Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Twitch tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to stream directly to Twitch from your Xbox One without anything else. So you won't need a computer, you don't need a capture card, nothing else. All you need is your Xbox One and a Twitch account. And you can even include a webcam. If you have a webcam, you can plug it into your Xbox One, and then you'll be able to stream your Xbox gameplay and your webcam to Twitch. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we need to do is actually install the Twitch app on our Xbox One, and we can quickly do that by simply hitting the Xbox button on our Xbox One controller, then going down all the way and selecting store. So open up the store. From here, all we need to do is search Twitch. Go ahead and open it up and then get it installed. All right, once you have the Twitch app installed, go ahead and open it up. And then at the top, what we need to do is go to sign in and sign into our Twitch account. So just select that. Now we just need to go to twitch.tv slash activate on our phone or a computer, something like that, and then enter that code. You can even go in the browser on your Xbox One if you don't have a phone. Once you've signed in, you'll see your profile picture show up in the top right of the Twitch app on your Xbox One. And from here, to start live streaming to Twitch, all we need to do is in the top menu, go to broadcast. And then we just need to go through some of the settings here to get everything set up. So let's go through everything here so that you have an understanding of how to set it up and what it's for. So starting in the bottom left, the first option is going to be the title of your stream. All you need to do is select that. You can type whatever title you want. I just have test stream there for this usage. As you can see under that, it says your game will appear here. So you don't have the ability to choose what game you're playing. Twitch will detect what game you're playing on your Xbox and show that on your stream. So after that, you can select the language for your stream. Now moving over to the right, this is where we get into the settings for our actual stream. First we have destination and this should be just left to Twitch unless you are using Lightstream and have a subscription service for that. If you're not sure what that is, check the description. I will have some links down there so you can check that out, but it does cost money. Right under that, you can choose your camera position. If you are using a USB webcam connected to your Xbox One, you can move it either into the bottom left, the right, top right, anything like that. After camera, we can choose the position of our broadcast bar. Now the broadcast bar cannot be turned off and it's not shown on your actual live stream. It's just for you to see so you can monitor the status of your stream, such as if you're actually streaming or how many people are viewing your stream and if your microphone is muted or not so it's pretty important and you can just decide where you want that to be on your stream so it doesn't get in the way of anything important in your game so I'll go ahead and select top right after that we have some settings for audio we first have the microphone audio so this will be all the audio from your headset which is important if you want to interact with your chat or have people in your stream actually hear you the party chat only works in an Xbox party so it does not work with in-game parties only with Xbox party chat so in order to change the volume of that, you will have to be in a party. After that, we have the game volume. So you wanna make sure that people can hear what's going on in the game. You can turn that up or you can turn it down. After game volume, we have your bit rate. And this should be left at automatic because it'll try to get the best bit rate based on the connection you have to your Wi-Fi and the internet. You can improve this by hardwiring your Xbox One using an ethernet cable into your modem or your router or by connecting to a five gigahertz Wi-Fi network. So you can do some things with your Xbox One to improve this, but I do recommend keeping this on automatic. Finally, we have the stream resolution and this is going to be the resolution of your stream on Twitch. And I do recommend at least 720. You don't want to go below that, but if you can do it, go to 1080p because that's just going to attract more viewers and your stream will look more professional. All right, so now that we have our stream resolution set up, we are ready to start streaming. Now, before we go down in the bottom left and select start streaming right here, what I recommend doing is going ahead and starting the game that you wanna play. Because as soon as you hit start streaming, it's gonna push that and start streaming on Twitch. And you don't want your viewers to see anything except for your game. So what I recommend doing is just hitting the Xbox button in your controller, going ahead and starting a game. And then you can go back to the Twitch app and select start streaming. So as you can see here now in the top right, we have our broadcast bar showing up. It shows that my mic is not connected. I don't have a webcam connected. I have zero viewers, and it also shows me how long I've been streaming. Now when I go to twitch.tv and try to view my stream, you can see that it's not actually showing my stream. That is because I am not in a game. So when I go back to my Xbox, what I need to do here is go ahead and open up my game and I can start playing. And as soon as I do that, when I go back to Twitch, you'll see the game start showing on my stream. And whenever I play, my viewers can watch that. 
So that's something to keep in mind. Unless you're in a game, your Xbox will not stream to Twitch. So if you're in your home screen or maybe you're in the settings, it's just going to show that generic image. So now once you've completed streaming and you want to end your stream on Twitch, all we need to do is hit the Xbox button on our controller again, go down to Twitch, and select Stop Stream. This will end it on Twitch, and as you can see, I am no longer online. All right, so that's how you live stream directly to Twitch from your Xbox One. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Twitch or Xbox One tutorials, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.